the boy can name moon as I'm going to the other room. Once again, good morning, good afternoon, good night. It depends your time and your location. You are joining us at Eastern News 24. As I'm going to go, Kabe Magoziana, you see, you see, you see. All right, um, Kabapuni also, no Guadala, when you open a solid silver, and Kabapuni certify when you open a because only car when I get a real and kidding and kidding. Yes. Um, in this particular audio, you know, I try you know, if I audio, if I know a melon, na na nineteen eighty five, I think, um, when Oge President Mohamed Buhari was a president of Nigeria through military, and other, so they have audio of more for Do you know that this man called himself Buhari? Is a good three people, and one of them was among Osofia Nkemowo's brothers. And what I one of them, Bo Nkemowo brother, yeah, oh yeah, Nkemowo Bo Osofia, no, Nkemowo man, a popular known as popular known as Osofia. All right, dwelling your order, see, the man now gone and them at not zoo. There is no hope being in this country this construction called nigeria yeah as in it's better indeed but to go to the world united yourself to go home to exist from nigeria okay now the same president now oh god in a minute little then i've been a chance a civilian then the same person buru mad no blue drug because the same person just come to the good day i will still come back to this video just listen to the audio make sure you stay tuned to the end all right your elder brother bartholomew was one of three young nigerians executed by general buhari in the 1980s after mr buhari took over in a military <coughs> coup in nigeria i can't even begin to imagine what a traumatic experience that must have been for you buhari is of course Nigeria's current president, your brother, along with two others, were executed by firing squad for a crime which was not punishable by death. Um, they had dealt in drugs, apparently. What influence has that experience had on your life? Well, if I could understand your, your question very well. It was about my brother that was killed uh, during the, the military era, Batlomi Owo. He was a brother and a friend because we were close. Yes, as a human being, when somebody who's close to you was killed in that kind of circumstance. In fact, I was working with the, uh, the Anambra television that time. And I was so furious that I was shedding tears along the corridors because I didn't see. The only thing that touched me, in fact, the thing that touched me most was the fact that they had to shift the date of um, effective date of that decree. You know, during the military era, they can want to, if they want to stop something, they can just get out one decree. And then uh, the next minute, the thing is in operation. So for them to backdate it, to involve or include people who did not commit the offense within their, within their own regime. Years back, I was very, very bitter, and I thought it was a personal thing to me. Why would it be shifted back to include people who didn't commit the offense before the decree was You hear it about my brother who was killed in the military era by the chief of head of state then, which is Mohamed Bouale. We will let this boy we will because of drug. Yeah, the same person now, but they were a drug lord. Bo, as one of the two, we tear, not the city, but I know when my son and the car talks this thing, people don't listen. It can never work. It can never, you see, but Nigeria can never be good, and it has come to a point that only Obunabia quit any and none can make and leave us some more. 
who keep the same corrupt leader. Buru Mado, Buru one no Sophia. During the time of his military, Bu President Buale, okay, because now Bele Nyukwe, a chief of armed force of drug, Bu Buale uh, Tunubu, because all your buna, if I be chief commander in all drugs now, nah, it's a it's a drug lord. Uduguna drug lord, Kana, we are both good. Okay, the same person now, go Biakwaro. Then we look for Chichi. Hey, Alu Emego, no, he will be born Alu Emego. Eh, then we look for Chichi, Nene. Then what will now be the fate of Ungwa and Wigina as a one Nigeria? Because I can what we can only need to work with Ungwa. Because he be your fate as Ungwa and Wigina as one Nigeria. Mosen to Mosen, he can't. Ah, we're chief of commander of drug lord. Have we now near? Bwali killed all that in the military. Jebwa, those three people, and one of them, the elder brother of Osofia, boom, came out. And everybody keep quiet. I could not. One and another, the same person can't handle over this country. Too. It's better you just go away to meeting and they say join and now the can and Simon Eba to reflect the sovereign state of Biafra. That is the only option. I'm telling you the truth. That is the only option. There is nothing you can do about it. Just, just what we we'll give me to Nubia. You on ball. Local name is Jolie Mejo. You on ball. Now you are ball. No fuka. I buy both. You what? I'm calling on uh, um, Wazirike. I'm calling on Uchemofo. All these Biafra freedom fighters to unite and let's liberate the sovereign state of Biafra. All right. Um, in case you forget the audio before, just get a little in touch. Get where you are. You what? Your elder brother Bartholomew was one of three young Nigerians executed by General Buhari in the 1980s after Mr. Buhari took over in a military <coughs> coup in Nigeria. I can't even begin to imagine what a traumatic experience that must have been for you. Buhari is, of course, Nigeria's current president. Your brother, along with two others, were executed by firing squad for a crime which was not punishable by death. Um, they had dealt in drugs, apparently. What influence has that experience had on your life? Well, if I could understand your, your question very well. It was about my brother that was killed uh, during the, the military era, Batlomi Owo. He was a brother and a friend because we were close. Yes, as a human being, when somebody who's close to you was killed in that kind of circumstance. In fact, I was working with the, uh, the Anambra television that time. And I was so furious that I was shedding tears along the corridors because I didn't see the only thing that touched me. In fact, the thing that touched me most was the fact that they had to shift the date of um, effective date of that decree. You know, during the military era, we can want to if they want to stop something, they can just get out one decree, and then uh, the next minute the thing is in operation. So for them to backdate it, to involve or include people who did not commit the offense within their, within their own regime. Years back, I was very, very bitter, and I thought it was a personal thing to me. Why would it be shifted back to include people who didn't 